Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk about recording. I wanted to talk about recording in a very different way. I want to talk about recording for what it is. You know, we look and listen and enjoy, are entertained. In fact, we don't really think much about what recording is. And you know, I was having a conversation uh, earlier today with an individual. We were talking about a sound recording um, that uh, had been made in 1897 by a uh, quartet of ladies. They were called the Boston uh, Fedettes uh, uh, Brass Quartet. And we were talking about it and how it seemed almost haunting in its sound. And so I thought about this and contemplated about it a little bit. And to me, one of the most unique, one of the most amazing documents is sound, is the capture of sound. It's something that has not been appreciated by many generations, if you think about it. The 20th century and the generations that existed within it were the first to appreciate the wonder of sound recording. Surely, sound recording did exist in the 19th century, but its worth, its value, <clears throat> for what it truly represented, was not appreciated. And to be perfectly honest, it wasn't truly appreciated in much of the 20th. It wasn't until we reached the latter part of the 20th century that we truly started to understand. Think about the Library of Congress. They had piles of records everywhere, but they didn't look upon it extremely seriously. It wasn't until we got well into the 20th century that they started to document it, that they started to conserve. Same thing with lots of other archives. Look at the Edison National Historic Site. I remember going back there as early as 19, what, 1964. In 1964, everything was everywhere. It wasn't until much later in the 20th century that there was a great deal of documentation and a great deal of a desire to preserve and protect these archives of sound. Because if I can go back to that recording from 1897, think about this. The window of human memory does not go back that far. It is completely and totally lost to us. However, on a few delicate old recordings, in the grooves are inscribed the physical sound of the time created by the human beings who were alive at the time. It was the energy of the being themselves that made that recording. It's very important. We don't think of recording this way. And so today, in fact, it's it's on this site. I have that recording of the Boston Fadettes uh, Brass Quartet from 1897 on my channel here. Listen to it if you get a chance. It is haunting. It's remarkable. This year it will be 121 years since it was recorded. But I wish to convey I wish to inspire, I wish to instill upon individuals, young and old, 
those that are barely understanding the world and they're young and those that are very old and jaded as they look upon it. But I wish to convey to each and every one the majesty and magnificence and importance of recorded sound. It is something that we truly do not appreciate. And you know, when that recording was made in 1897, it was a novelty. Today, it's a treasure because it is what we are. I'm always reminded of a tombstone I saw when I was a kid. It was old. It was from the 18th century, early 18th century. I think it was something around 1730 or something like that. And the individual who had been placed there, I'm not sure if they came up with this phrase, but it said, in stark realism, as you are, I once was. Think about that. And as these recordings are, we are now. Thirty years from now, many of us will not be here. I promise you, I will not. <laughs> I'll be gone. But perhaps... Perhaps a recording of my voice will survive. Perhaps an utterance in which I'm talking. Perhaps maybe this very recording will exist 30 years from now. Maybe it'll exist 100 years from now. And people will be looking at it and saying, ah, he was on the right track. <laughs> but think about this. All of you, as you listen to music, as you enjoy music, as you live your lives, remember that recorded sound is an integral part of who we are. And as they were, we are. And as they are now, we will soon be.